It is our desire to help you to identify how you're doing emotionally or vibrationally. Because if you can improve the way you feel just a little bit, your whole point of attraction shifts. When you are in vibrational alignment with what you want and who you are, we call that allowing. In fact, we call the entire gathering the art of allowing because it's the art of learning how to get up there in vibrational alignment with who you really are and what you want. So let's take a subject. What subject do you want to play with first? Throw something out. Money, 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 money. Well, it's big. Money interfaces with you all day, every day in lots of different ways. And you have lots of different emotional responses to money. So it's a good one to begin with. So let's say that you're standing where you are and where should it be? Should it be with plenty of money or with not quite enough money? Should it be with really not enough money or just not quite enough money? Just not quite enough money. So here you are. And it doesn't matter where you are. Here you are. Wherever you are is where you are. And here you are. So here you are. And so you're having responses to life. You're having conversations with yourself. You're having thoughts in your own mind. You're giving your attention to this subject of money. So let's say that you went to the mailbox. You got the American Express bill. You had no idea how much you spent. It knocks the wind out of you. You know that there's not enough to pay it. You're thinking about how you need to call them and make some sort of other arrangements. And you have this knot in the pit of your stomach that we would describe as not so much fear, although maybe fear, but true annoyance, disappointment, uh, concern, um, discomfort about money. So there you are in your powerful now where all of your power is. And so you say, I don't know why I do this to myself. So the question that we want to ask you is, which way did that statement cause you to fork? Did you fork? To the corner that you don't want to go to or to the corner that you do want to go to so I've lost my mind I don't know what I'm doing what in the world was I thinking now you forked over there pretty good but it doesn't matter where you were the only thing that matters is where you are so now you say wait a minute I'll figure this out as you begin forking this way and then you say I always find a way and then you say I'm a good credit risk or I wouldn't have this card <laughs> and then you say I'll call them and I'll make some arrangements and it'll be all right and we'll get back on track next month in other words you don't solve anything this red hot minute you just do your best to start listing in the direction of where you want to end up because if you continue to fork in that direction you're going to eventually have a manifestation that's not going to please you when you get there and this is the thing that we really want you to hear negative emotion within you means that you are systematically marching toward manifestations that you're not going to like when you get there now, 99% of every creation is complete vibrationally before you see any manifestational evidence of it. So this is a wonderful thing to keep in your mind, isn't it? Because in every moment you're offering a vibration that is causing you to lean one way or the other. And since 99% of every creation is complete before you see the evidence, you can get pretty well in the direction of something you don't want, sometimes so far that you can't stop the momentum of it. Sometimes we see people, they'll have an experience where something will happen and they'll say it came out of the blue and we say, no, it didn't. It didn't come out of the blue. You've been marching, 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 marching systematically in that direction for a long time. You were just oblivious to the negative emotion. You were just forgetting that negative emotion means I'm headed in the direction of what I don't want. So that's the most important thing that we want to get across as we are beginning here today is that in every moment you're moving towards something. And the question is, how do I feel? And if the answer is not that good, then we would suggest that you make an effort here and now, which is all you can do to begin leaning in the other direction. And do you know, a little bit of effort to just 
move in the other direction makes such a big difference in your vibrational point of attraction. An effort of just a little more than a minute will shift your vibrational point of attraction so dramatically that something that hasn't happened in two years will happen almost immediately. It doesn't matter how long you've been without something that you want. When you clean your vibration up about it, the universe can deliver it to you quickly. You're creators. You're on the leading edge of thought. You didn't come here to fix things that are broken. You came to be wherever you are, to let wherever you are inspire the new. And Source was so sure that where you were was the perfect place for you to be that Source said, we trust you as the leading edge of that which is us. To have a leading edge experience and to give birth to a desire. And when you do, we know you so much. We know you're worthy no so much. We love you so much. We will join the desire that you give birth to. The question of this forum is, are you going to join the desire that you have given birth to? And if you don't, you will not be satisfied. In other words, you cannot hold yourself back. The evolution of every species is about contrasting experience causing a preference to be born source agreeing with the preference the difference is that the one celled amoeba goes along with what source is the beasts of your planet go right along the flora and fauna go right along it's usually only the resistant humans that say I'm not sure I'm allowed to want isn't this utterly selfish of me to want this and we say, well, Source doesn't think it's selfish. Source went and became at one with it. And the reason that you don't feel good is because you have not joined Source in their agreement with your birthing of our evolution. That was really good. <laughs> We are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. Nothing is off limits. You will notice a wonderful unfolding. Things will evolve magically, or so it will seem. Everything that you want to know, we are aware of, and we will wedge it in the crack. Do not worry. Nothing will go unanswered. Stop for a moment. Think about what you want. Think about the events of your recent life and the questions that they've caused you to ask. Think about the things that are percolating in your reality right now. Think about the things that you've been wanting and your relationship with them. And let us together not only take thought beyond that which it has been before, but let us together close the gap, the vibrational gap between where you are and where you really want to be. Good. Begin. Stand if you think it's you. Yes. Some practical questions for you. We laid a good basis for you just now. Do you you did. <laughs> so the money um, brings up my question of I have manifested a good sum of money just recently that I am thrilled about and at the same time noticed that I started thinking, oh, I have bills to pay. What should I do with the money? And I want to continue the flow. I want to, I believe that I am unlimited and yet notice the old thoughts coming up. Well, that pile of money that you have is just symptomatic of more piles that are coming. <laughs> That's what I believe. And as you spend it in ease, you let the next piles roll in. As you spend it in angst, you slow the next piles up. So, so that I understand what you're saying, I have gone out and spent some and had a ton of fun. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was just fun. And I noticed that I got to a certain point and then I started saying, oh, I better stop. Well, the question we want to put to you is, do you feel free about money or guarded about that money? Did the receiving of that open the floodgates for so much more to come? Or do you now feel guarded about this pile that you are worried about diminishing? Both. I can vacillate between feeling, wow. But you can't do them both in the same moment. No. So 
so since you're very clever, we'll ask you. <laughs> you think you're more upstream or downstream about this? Are you more guarded or more free? Guarded. Well, I, I kind of want to say I'm, I'm going more and more downstream with the flow. So I'm less guarded than I less, usually am, but I'm still more guarded than I am. Still free kind of tight fisted. Like, I don't know if I can trust that there's, and yet the bigger part of me knows that there's more. Well, so here's the interesting thing about this. When money comes to you, you say, I manifested a large amount of money. And when you say, I manifested a large amount of money in a way that's not likely to ever happen to me again, <laughs> then you feel tight fisted because it's right. like this anomaly happened. And this is why, this is why we put it to you in the way we did that this is just a pile of money that came in the way that it did, but there are more piles of money that are going to come in other ways. And your logic is saying to you, but this pile of money came in a unique way. Right. And I don't have any more of those kind of unique ways of piles of money coming. <laughs> that's exactly what my logic is saying. So but I want it, but that's, ex it came exactly the way I wanted it to in this illogical sort of, here you go. So, way. so if that can happen, then other way. And so what you want to focus upon is if this can happen, then other things can happen. And the end result is the same. I have a pile of money. And another one, 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 until once you get that pump primed, then you can go to the well anytime you want and the money will be there. So much so that you'll stop even thinking about it. You'll just accept the well as always full and, and you won't be worrying about how it got in there.